Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eamon McEamon. Wit, rock and tour, and corporate chill. It's been a long time since we rocked and rolled, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm back. And have I got a message for you? On May 31st, Ireland goes to the polls. Again? But don't worry. I'm here to offer a balanced and objective guide to help you make that decision. By voting no. Vote no to put an end to all the petty scaremongering. After all, do you want another 2,000 years of austerity? I'm a businessman and the unwed mother of two young children. And let me tell you, I care about this country quite a lot. It's been a difficult time for us, the good people of Ireland. As I walk through my beloved streets of Dublin, I swear to you, I can barely recognise the place. What? Vote no because it says something. Ireland is banjaxed and we're very, very confused. Vote no because people you can trust are telling you to vote no. Like the Shinners, the bleeding socialists, and that English bloke Nigel. He's brilliant. As for the Greeks, I say stick it, Zorba. Vote no because stability is overrated. That said, I still can't sell this bleeding gaff. Vote no because we're Irish. It's what we do. It's our thing. No is the new yes. No is the new black. No, it's the positive choice. Vote no, because we don't need any help from Europe to make a complete side of our country. We'll do it ourselves. Let's send a clear message to the EU. Up yours. Vote no, because it's what Philo would have wanted. No. Vote no, because they'll give us the money anyway. Because we're brilliant. What about we have a referendum about having a referendum? Or better still, a tribunal? So in conclusion, I'll make a point and wrap it in a threat. It's your decision, ladies and gentlemen. Vote no, or else.